Hello everyone, my name is Dusty Paws and I thought today it might be quite nice for me to put on my special sequin jacket and read you a story. Today's story is going to be Waiting for Santa. Bear woke early with a tingle in his tummy. Wake up everybody, he called. Tomorrow's Christmas. We've got to get ready for Santa Claus. Santa's not coming, Badger grumbled. He doesn't even know we're here. He'll come, Bear cried. We just have to believe. What's all the fuss, asked Mole. Is Santa really coming? Will there be presents, squeaked Mouse. Stop this nonsense, Badger said. Santa's not coming. Not this year or any year. But Bear was hoping with excitement. Santa will come, he cheered. He just needs some help to find us. Bear's forest friends talked it over. Maybe he's right, said Hedgehog. Why don't we give it a try, said Mole and Mouse together. If we must, huffed Badger. All day long, the friends were busy, busy, busy. Santa will love our sign, Mole said. If he's here to read it, he'll be here, Bear smiled. Santa's reindeer will love these snacks, Mouse said, if they're here to eat them. They'll be here, Bear declared. Santa will love our Christmas tree, Hedgehog said, if he's here to see it. He'll be here, we just have to believe, Bear exclaimed. And he dashed off into the woods. Where's Bear off to now, Mole asked. Maybe he's given up and gone home, Badger grumped, like we should. But Bear was back in an instant. Look at my Christmas star, he cheered. I hope Santa will like it. But our tree is enormous, Mole said. However, will we reach the top? We'll do it together, Bear said. He lifted up Badger, who lifted up Mole, who lifted up Hedgehog, who lifted up Mouse. I can't believe I'm doing this, Badger grumbled as they wobbled and swayed. Mouse stretched up high and tied the star to the tallest branch. Ooh, she gasped, watching it sparkle. <sighs> sighed Mole in wonder. Eek! Badger giggled. Mole, your feet are so tickly. I can't help it, chuckled Mole, as they teetered and tottered, and with a bump, they all fell to the ground. Bear scrambled up. Everything's perfect, he said. Now let's wait for Santa. So the friends huddled together as darkness fell. It's very cloudy, Hedgehog said. What if Santa doesn't spot our tree? He'll see it, Bear said with a smile. But the time passed slowly and the wind began to whistle. I'm cold, Mole shivered. I want to go home. Time for hot cocoa, said Hedgehog, snuggling close. But there is still no sign of Santa. He's not coming, is he, cried Hedgehog. No presents, sighed Mouse. Maybe Santa isn't coming at all, thought Bear. Suddenly, a big gust of wind blew the clouds away. The moon shone down on the Christmas star, making it shimmer and sparkle. There's something in the sky, Badger said. It's... it's... Santa! Mouse cried out. He's got presents! Hooray! Ho, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, laughed Santa. I could see that shiny star from way up high. There was a special gift for each of the friends. Thank you, Santa, they said. No, thank you, chuckled Santa. A rest and some yummy snacks were just what my tired reindeer needed. It's thanks to Bear, Badger said. He always knew you'd come. What a wonderful welcome this is, said Santa, shaking Bear by the paw. A clever bear like you could help me deliver these presents. Tell me, 
will you come along? Yes, 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 Bear exclaimed. He hopped into the sleigh and all his friends cheered. Yay! As they flew off into the night sky, Bear and Santa called out together, Merry Christmas everyone and never stop believing. What a nice book.